Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek's V3.1 has launched, which is a new version of the V3 model, and it is outstanding in coding, and even better than models like 3.7 Sonnet, while being relatively super cheap. I found a tool that allows you to use this model for free, and without any apparent limits for coding and generating apps. It's called DeepSeek Coder, or AnyChat. It's a hugging face space called AnyChat. And actually, this is a space that gives you access to multiple models to chat for free. All these models that you see here are generally free to use, which is great. And I have used it a bit as well. It's actually an excellent way to use models if you don't want to pay, but still want to access them. The space has recently added the new DeepSeek V 3.1 coder, which you can use by selecting the provider as Hugging Face, and then selecting the new DeepSeek V 30324 option here. You have a bunch of options here, and you can use any of these models as much as you want, without any apparent limits on any of them. Since this is the newly added model, I thought to try this out and tell you guys about it as well. You can also use some other models as well if you want, and all of them are great. Now here, you can enter the prompt for what you want to generate, and then you have the generate and clear buttons along with some example or starter prompts that you can try out. You also have the settings option as well. Settings have the system prompt feature, which gives you the option to customize the system prompt to your liking. It has this system prompt by default. This can also only generate HTML code, which is a limitation for sure, but it's still good for some simple mini apps and stuff like that, which is pretty useful. Apart from this, you have the view code option, which will come in handy when we generate something with it, and the history will be useful when we want to navigate between our generations. So, that's also cool. But now let's try to generate something with it. Let's ask it to make me a playable synth keyboard. I'm using the new DeepSeek model, as I mentioned. So, now let's send it. And once we do that, you can see that it starts generating the code. And you can see it being streamed in this sidebar thing. Which is good to see. Now it's done. And you can see the generation. And the sidebar thing closes when it's finished. But you can view it again if you click the view code option and it will open it up and you can use it through here, which is pretty great. Anyway, if we try to use the synth keyboard here, then this works pretty well, which is amazing and good to see as usual. Now, one feature it has is the option to change or edit the generations as well. So, what you can do is just put what you want to edit in the generation in this prompt box. Let's ask it to add a heading saying King to this. Once we write it in and send it, you can see that it starts generating the content as we wanted, and it works pretty well, which is great to see as usual. It's now done, and you can now see that this heading we needed is now added, and you can keep making changes until you're satisfied with your generation, which is really great. Another thing you have here is the history option, where you can see the chat thread and the code generation at each step. So, you can take the code at whatever step you want, which is great for going back and forth between generations as well. Apart from this, we also have the R1 option here, and if we select this, then we can send in our prompt and make it work on our stuff as well. And apart from this, you have the same options as before, which are the system prompt settings, history, and stuff like that. Let's put in our prompt here, and let's ask it to make a playable synth keyboard as well. Once we do that, you can see that it starts generating the content again, and this will be a bit slower than the other ones, which is a little disappointing for sure. But if we wait a bit, then you can see that it's now done, and it also closes the thread as soon as it's finished. So, 
you can just open it up again by clicking the same view code option and you'll see the code there. But if we try to use it, then this works pretty well as we wanted, which is pretty great to see. So, this also works fine. Now, let's try to make some changes to it as well. And let's ask it to make the keyboard's white colors blue when clicked. Once we send it, you can see that it starts making the changes. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. And it's now done. And if we click a key, then you can see that it turns blue, which is what we wanted. And you can also see the history of changes here as well. And copy the content if needed which is pretty great. So, that's basically how it works. Apart from this, you also have a bunch of other models that you can use here, which is all great. And these new coders are good as well to generate some front-end components and styles pretty easily. And they work well for creating mini-apps, which you may just want to use for a bit, and things like that. I have been using the new DeepSeek a lot these days because of it being cheap, and many providers are offering it for free. Even Open Router now has the model for free, and you can surely go ahead and use it all you want and generate some quite cool stuff with it completely free. The model is so good to see because it's so affordable, and it really challenges models like 3.7 Sonnet that are super expensive and not everyone can afford to use regularly. So, there's that. I have also been using it a lot, and it allows you to prototype something real quick for free. Make sure that you use it accordingly in your workflow and take advantage of it. And you can also use multiple other models with it as well. I also use R1 a lot with it, and you can also use some other models like Quen, QWQ, and stuff like that as well. Go ahead and use it all you want. Open Router has also launched a free endpoint for DeepSeek's new API, which means that you can use it all you want with it using something like Klein or Rue code and do some cool stuff with it as your AI coder, and it is quite amazing for sure. The endpoint seems to be good, as the token speed is pretty good, or you can obviously use Hyperbolic as well, which gives you some free credits, and the official API of DeepSeek also works well nowadays. So, you can use that as well if you wish to. Go ahead and use this new model and save some money while you're at it, because 3.7 Sonnet can be very wallet-heavy for sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.